hello world welcome back to my channel i am sahil and from today i am going to start a new web development series in which i will show you how to develop a full secure authentication and post management system using node.js mongodb express.js and ejs templating engine so in the whole series you will learn how to build user login registration forget password reset password and user profile system and also you will uh, learn how authenticated users can add their posts and then can manage like edit update and delete their own posts non-authenticated users can read all published posts you will also see how to create pagination and much more so let's so let's see full demo of this project first okay so here you can see this is the project where you can see at the top in nav bar with some link home profile login and here you can see a uh, post listing and uh, each post contain image title uh, content a read more button uh, the name of the author and created at date okay and at the bottom here you can see the pagination okay and uh, i have used bootstrap 5 to design all the pages okay and this is also fully responsive so if i decrease the screen size then here you can see the page is showing proper in uh, a responsive view okay i can go to login page or i can go to home page okay i can click on next to go to next page okay so you can see i am on second page and if i click on next then this is the last page where you can see only previous button next button is hidden so i can go back to previous page by clicking previous button okay so pagination is working fine now if i want to view a post in detail then just click on read more button then here you can see the full preview of the image the name of the author who retained this post created at date and time uh, this is the title and this is the post content okay similarly if i want to read another post then just click on read more and here you can see all the detail of the post okay now here you can see i'm not authenticated so this login uh, link is uh, visible okay now from here if i try to access profile page then you can see uh, we are redirected to login page okay so we have to login in order to access profile page okay so before login let's uh, register a new user first okay so if i click on register link then you can see this is the registration page okay so here if i enter some details and click on uh, register then uh, there is a flash message that a uh, user already exists with this email okay so we have to use a unique email because i have already registered with this email okay so let's uh, fill all the details again and let's change the email to uh, instead of 653 I will use 333 okay this password is uh, uh, just plain password text okay and if I click on register then you can see we are redirected to login page it means we are successfully registered okay now let's try to log in with the registered user so here if I write 333 and let's uh, write a wrong password and click on login then here you can see uh, a flash message invalid email or password so let's uh, this time i will enter correct credential okay so 333 and the password is password now if i click on login then you can see we are redirected to the profile page with some info like name of the users email email address and the created at date and time okay and a logout button now here you can see the nav bar is also updated with some new uh, link like my posts and a a drop down menu with the name of the user and there is a logout link here also okay now if i try to go back to login page from the address bar then let's see what happens so if i write login here slash login and uh, try to access then you can see we are again redirected back to profile page because we are already authenticated so we we cannot access login or a registra a registration page okay so if uh, in order to access login page again or registration page again we have to first log out so let's log out 
this user now here you can see we are redirected to login page and i can access registration page login page and forward password page okay now suppose uh, any user forgot his password then let's see how to recover okay so if uh, let's click on login and then click on forgot password here we have to write the registered email id so here so here i will just write my email id and click on reset password okay now it will take few seconds now here you can see uh, there is a flash message that password reset link has been sent to your email okay now i'm using mail trap for testing so let's open mail trap and here you can see there is a email received with the uh, subject password reset so if i will open this then here you can see there is a link a reset password so if i click on this reset uh, password link then you can see we are redirected to reset password page okay here we have to write the uh, new password so i'm using one two three four five six one two three four five six and if i click on reset password then you can see uh, we are redirected to the login page now again if i try to log in with the old password then let's see what happens okay so this is the old password that is password and if i try to log in then you can see we are not uh, able to log in so let's try to enter the updated password that is one two three four five six and click on login then you can see we are now authenticated and redirected to the user profile page now from here uh, if i go to my posts then here you can see there is no post so i can create a new post okay so click on create post and here i will write like iron man and uh, uh, let's search for iron man for some random text so i'll copy this one and paste here i will select the image okay and click on add post so you can see post created successfully and we are redirected to the home page and this is the post that i just added here you can see the name of the author is keon jonas okay and if i click on read more then you can see the post in detail okay if i go to my posts again then i can see uh, my post only here uh, in this table okay and from here i can edit and delete my post so let's try to edit this post so if i click edit then i can change the title so let's change the title to tony star and i will not change anything like image and content and if i click on update post then you can see the title has been updated if i click on view then uh, you can see this is the title and here also you can see the slug is automatically updated tony stark okay now again if i go to my post now this time if i want to change the image then let's see how to do the uh, do it so if i select a new image okay so i am selecting this uh, image and click on update post then you can see image updated successfully with a flash message that is post updated successfully now if i click on view then you can see the updated image here okay you can also delete any post okay so if i click on delete then you can see post deleted successfully and there is no post let's try to log in with uh, another user okay so if i log in sorry i think we have changed the password so let me write one two three four five six and login okay so i have logged in with a different user and if i go to my post then this uh, user retained three posts okay and all listed here so he can uh, he can edit delete or modify any post if he want okay and he, he can also create new post from here okay so this is all about uh, this project okay so uh, from next video i will start working on this project step by step and upload video tutorial on this channel so if you are not subscribed to this channel then subscribe now and uh, i will see you soon in the next video of this series